Hi guys, welcome to the channel. In breaking news, as reported by CNN, a Kentucky man has been forcefully quarantined into his home. Uh, this is on my Newsbreak app. A coronavirus patient refused to quarantine, so deputies are surrounding his house to force him to. Uh, a Kentucky coronavirus patient checked himself out of the hospital against medical advice. So to prevent him from spreading the virus, officials are surrounding his house to keep him there. A 53-year-old Nelson County man, Nelson County, Kentucky, refused to quarantine himself after testing positive for COVID-19, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir said. Nelson County officials forced an isolation on the man, one of the first 20 confirmed COVID-19 cases in the state. So what does forced isolation mean to you? I'm less concerned about COVID-19 and I am more concerned about societal uprage and outrage. And man, this, this really could get bad. Uh, the toilet paper uh, <laughs> apocalypse and hoarding and stuff like that concerns me. But what happens when people are forced isolation? Now, let's get back to the story. Uh, Governor Bashir says, it's a step I had hoped I'd never have to take. He said this in a press conference on Saturday. But I can't allow one person we know who has a virus to refuse to protect their neighbors. Hmm, governmental control. Bashir didn't say how the government had forced the unarmed man to stay in his home, but this week, Nelson County Sheriff Ramon Pinaroa told the Kentucky Standard that deputies will park outside of the man's home for 24 hours a day for two weeks. It sounds like uh, forced imprisonment in a way. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, the patient is cooperating now. Okay, um, I guess if Sheriff's deputies were surrounding my house for 24 hours a day. I guess I would probably cooperate also. Uh, what other option do you have? Again, let me know in the comments. When reached for comment by CNN, the Nelson County Sheriff's Department deferred all comments to the governor. I would imagine so. Nelson County Judge Executive Dean Watts told CNN affiliate WDRB the measure was necessary to keep the community safe. This is not about us, not about I, Judge Watts says. So quarantine is a must. If we have to, we'll do it by force. Hmm. Most state laws for imposing quarantines are fairly broad. Kentucky law gives the Cabinet for Health and Family Services the power to declare and strictly maintain quarantine and isolation as it sees fit according to the National Conference of States Legislatures. The federal government hasn't authorized national quarantines or isolations yet, but President Donald Trump has that power. Under the Commerce Clause of the Constitution, a president can issue an executive order authorizing isolation or quarantine for several contagious diseases, including severe acute respiratory syndromes like COVID-19. Thank you guys for joining the channel. All of my new subscribers, you guys rock. Thank you for watching my videos. Make sure if this is the first time you're seeing this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Write me a comment. Let me know what you think, what's happening in your states and around the country. Make sure you share this on your social media and uh, let's get the word out. I would uh, give my opinion that uh, I would not approve of any forced quarantine, any governmental, uh, let's call it forced imprisonment. I have human rights and we have the constitution by our side. So let me know what you think, guys. As always, share this, subscribe, like, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Be good, guys.